So in that last video, we ran into an issue where we didn't have a working directory set. So I do want to do that. So var HTML is the working directory we generally want with that container. So let's set that. We'll do docker compose restart to reset and regrab that new setting. And let's see, I want to do docker compose exec against the app. And I just want to list out the current directory, so pwd. And that is still the root, right? So that didn't work for the execute command. Again, if you have a newer version of this, it might work if it runs against a newer version of the API. But currently, I have the least stable version of Docker here. That might update in the future here. So you can try it yourself at home. But if you do Docker Compose run, and I want to run an instance of app, and the command I want to run is lslah, or actually, I'm sorry, I want to run pwd. This is actually going to run a new container, just like Docker run does instead of Docker exec, right? Because Docker exec executes a command inside of a currently running container, docker run and docker compose run is going to create a new container and it's going to create a new container with all of this context, with all this information. It's going to add itself into that network, it's going to connect to this volume, it's going to share these ports. And in this case, I think docker compose is actually intelligent enough not to bind to the port 80 port again because that will run into a conflict. And working directory should work in this case. Yeah, okay, so the working directory was the correct directory, so it started a container and then stopped it. So one thing we have here is that uh, that start container here is left over. It didn't destroy that container when it was done, so I can do docker remove and get rid of that container myself. So that's a quick note on how to run docker compose exec and docker compose run and set a working directory and in what cases the working directory might not exist. And again, just to refresh yourself, if you want to do docker compose exec against any of your containers, you can do that trick. You do bash or sh for a shell, but I like to do bash generally. And you can do one long command here um, using the dash c flag to pass in a command as a string. And then you can do cd var and then something else.